obviously when you're younger and you've got big games and you know you're going to be full of nerves but it's the same ball it's the same lines as in as in training if you can take the emotion out of everything and you know probably goes for life as well and and just see it for what it is you know it sort of takes the stress off it but you learn that through experience it's very hard to tell a young person that um, not to not to get emotional before a game or, or or not to get nervous it's sort of like saying uh, don't don't look at the color red obviously when I was younger went through all those processes but now have the benefit of experience and I look forward to games it's it's much better than training so um, I, I tend to see the enjoyment side of it rather than the stressful side of it Cutback is clever. Transform what you do on the training pitch over to a to a game, um, and uh, not worry about what you what you're coming up against in games, and just you know find that relationship between the training ground and a, and a 90 mi minutes on a on a match day is probably the best way to do it. Uh, don't overcomplicate things. Um, I always like to say see ball, catch ball, you know th those sort of things. Uh, you know, for me, it shouldn't really change too much what you do through the week to what you do on a weekend. I think when you sort of abide by those rules uh, when things go wrong and sort of you can rely on what you do through the week to get you through a game. It's in surely! Federici, he kept it out, did he? He did not, did he? You know, if you're having to do stuff the day before, then you haven't really prepared right. So uh, the, the day before is pretty irrelevant uh, as long as you get a good night's sleep. And even if you don't, you still can rely on your basics. Uh, it's, what, it's what you do the weeks, the months, and, and that before the game and what you rely on uh, to, to, to play well with each week. And obviously that, that gets better with the experience and um, learning about your own body uh, individually. Um, everyone's different and how they cope with training and how they cope with stress and how they cope with pressure and all those sorts of things. So it's very much a, a learning curve, but uh, on an individual one to how to get the best out of your performance, um, not, not as a collective group.